to another lesson in this one we have got Pearl Jam's uh, Satan's Bed love this track it's just a couple of good riffs essentially and some noodly parts uh, this was requested by Chad Ward who is a uh, patron hello Chad thank you very much indeed for your support buddy now if you haven't heard of patron go check out the link below essentially you support the channel keep it going and in return get some cool stuff like song suggestions and votes and uh, PDF tabs and all that good stuff right so without further ado Let's crack on. So not loads to this, but there are some nuances and we will explore them. So Stone starts this off with this riff. <laughs> like that, right? And you'll notice it's just four notes. Fourth fret on the A and five, four, three on the E. Looking at this live, Stone basically slides up with what looks like his second finger. So he's playing these two notes with his uh, second and first finger. Then he switches to his first finger for the fourth fret on the E. And moves it down for that, right? For the third fret. At the end of every bar, there's this. It's an open E, right? But it's very subtly played. All right, so that's the vibe. Every now and again, you'll get this. You'll get two um, e open E notes, right? So you can chuck that in there as well, right? Um, but slowly, the riff goes like this. Is it okay now when it comes to the um, the chorus riff that can either be played one of two ways because the chords are just C G D and A right he's using a very similar tone to the one that he uses on uh, last exit So, and looking at what he plays live, he seems to be playing a portion of each chord. So I think he's playing the top, or the lowest three notes of each chord, right? So it should sound like this. Alright, that's the sort of tones. That is different to... Play it there if you want, but for authenticity, it sounds better there, right? So, 320 from the A string, 320. So, basically, I'm not, I, you could fret the whole C chord, right? Go for that if you want. Then, I'm just moving my um, third and second finger down. One string, right? Then you're going to play three, two, zero, zero. Then a D5. Not the full D. I don't hear that. And then a full A chord if you want. But I'm just playing, again, the open A and the second fret on the D and G. So. Now, over the top of that, there are some... There's some noodly bits like that, and they're quite hard to hear, they're quite um, 
fuzzy sounding as well. But essentially, you're just going to do uh, a bend on the 15th fret, full bend. <laughs> While that's held, you play the 15th fret on the E. Hear how both notes are ringing out? And with that still held, you then pick the B again and then drop that bend down. And when you drop the bend down, you pull off to the 13th fret and then play the 14th on the uh, G string, right? The next string down. Okay, and he mixes it up, that's one, one alternative. And that second version is, that bit's the same, but the bend, uh, but the released bend is a bit quicker. And then you play 13, 14 again. Okay, noodle around like that. I mean, it's not going to really make too much difference what you what you play there, as long as you're in this ballpark. So have fun with that. And that's about it. But a couple of other bits. Mike has a solo in it. I'm not going to go through the solo. It's um, if you do want that, Chad, then let me know. But essentially, the solo was played over this section. And Mike plays. play something like that right so you can bend it here that's a half bend on the 11th fret he bends it like one and a half um, frets up or you could start on the maybe that if you're playing on the seventh fret then you could shift it up while you're bending to one fret To usual pentatonic mic territory, right? Okay. Stuff like that. Then you can, he also plays this. Starts playing some double stops, right? shifts it up to the um, 17th fret. So you can do some stuff like that. There's one other part where you'll hear... played uh, while well, there's uh, a bit of organ playing I think as well it's just the same riff you started on the 10th fret on the B and you're playing uh, the 9th fret on the E then 10 8 7 so there you have it that was it nice and simple wasn't it hope you enjoyed that one anyway and I will see you soon cheers bye bye